All right, here we are for our last hours in Bali. And I tell you, when the sun comes out, like it is here, and the humidity is so high, the temperature feels like into the 40s. But we wanted to chase summer for the full year, so we're doing it. And what we've loved the most about all these different villas here in Bali is we went to the effort to get a pool in each one. And Grant and I have enjoyed every pool almost every day that we've been here. I can't always say that was the case for the kids. In fact, if you go into their room where they have the air conditioning on, it's frigidly cold temperatures. I think one of the things yeah. that the kids will remember best is our trip to Kanto Lampo Waterfalls where they got to climb up a waterfall. That is something that they've seen in movies and in the YouTube videos and they don't think they expected to do while we were in Bali. Another favorite of YouTubers showing off their adventures in Bali is the ubiquitous experience of the Abud Monkey Forest. We were a little concerned because we'd had a friend who had gotten bitten by a monkey and worried about rabies, so they had to go and get all the shots. And we decided not to get rabies shots because I contacted the Abud Monkey Forest and they said that it was safe and that we didn't need to worry about it. So and we didn't get them and we came a little concerned that we didn't want to feed them, we didn't want to get too close to them. One with the monkeys? And in the end, the only person that had somewhat of a run-in with them was Grant, where one monkey towards the end of our tour there just jumped up on his leg and just kind of hung on to his shorts. And it was really funny because he'd been swimming at the waterfall earlier and um, the shorts were hanging kind of loosely around his waist and he was commando underneath and he was a little bit worried that the monkey would pull off his shorts. I think we were a little bit worried for no reason because the monkeys were more concerned about getting the food that they were interested in and that other people were feeding them. There was some young people that were very much encouraging the monkeys to jump up on them. This guy had fashioned a little cup and was sitting at the water fountain drinking, feeding himself. last big activity for our time in Bali was to go to the sea temples. These are really interesting structures that are actually working temples.
And it's the whole area is set up for tourism and this little market alley in the back street. We saw a luwak. <laughs> These are the creatures that chew up the coffee beans and then come out the other end and then we make delicious coffee with them. And then right this side was a bat, like the biggest bat I even knew that existed. Uh-oh, I think I just heard the power go off. And we told the house manager not to come today. So, not quite sure what's going on with that. Oh, uh, now we have to investigate. Living in a place where things are a little more freeform. Electricity here comes because you pay like an overall amount of money, kind of like you would do a, a prepaid phone card, I guess. And then when you run out of the money, you have to put more on it. And unfortunately, we seems like we've run out of electricity. This here, that, and this is the not so glamorous part of traveling. It's packing, unpacking, living out of my packing queues, um, which I kind of like actually. It's about staying organized because otherwise you spend a lot of your time just packing and unpacking and, and not spending as much time just doing fun stuff. And we've certainly done a lot of fun stuff here and it's been because we are a little bit more organized than we might have been in our normal lives. You just can't spread out and just let it all go. The kids tend to get into their room, everything explodes, and then when it's time to pack up, they throw everything back in. The clothes are all over the place because I'm not quite sure that they're perfectly dry yet, so if the air comes back on, then we'll be able to make sure they get really nice and dry. And again, that's just one of those things I picked up the laundry and I didn't check it right away which I maybe should have and I spent some time getting a pedicure really nice purple nails <laughs> thanks for watching our adventure it's changing a little bit we thought we were going to be going to Petra looks like we might miss Jordan on this trip altogether instead we're heading down to South Africa and Cape Town and it's going to be very interesting it's making the trip far more exciting by having all that planning to do and all the investigation and figuring everything out and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun i had no idea how far away south africa was we're going to be going hong kong doha south africa that's two back-to-back 10-hour -back long hauls the kids are not looking forward to that neither am i it just goes to show how big our planet is. We're not even touching South America. I hope you enjoy watching our adventures. See you soon. See you next time.